before we open it up. Uh, Corsair have sent us a 16 gig vengeance kit, uh, 1600 megahertz, 2 by 8 gig sticks. Sodium slots, the NUC obviously takes sodium slots because it's so small. Uh, we've installed this already. I've already made the NUC up, so I'm just going to take it apart. I've already taken the four screws off, these four here. Um, once you get it open, which can be tricky, again, the, the screws actually full, and you have to make sure that the threads are completely done. Uh, undone, sorry. The inner itself is actually quite small, very, very small. It's not too heavy. Um, here we've got obviously the two 8 gig sticks from Corsair. Under here we've got a um, uh, an Intel Centrino Advanced Dash N6235 wireless module. On top we have an Intel SSD 520 series. Uh, it's 180 gig drive, uh, 6 gigabit uh, SATA, so it shouldn't be too bad. The performance on it should be pretty good. Included in the actual um, NUC itself is a Intel Core i3 3217U ultra low voltage kit, uh, ultra low voltage chip. Sorry, um, the NUC itself comes with that built in, uh, but obviously you have to buy the memory and the SSD and the Wi-Fi dongle separately. But if you don't want to use Wi-Fi, you can, if you really wanted to, use DisplayPort and go DisplayPort to Gigabit Ethernet, or you could use USB to Wi-Fi, uh, depending on what you or obviously what, what you want to do. Um, on the back, you've got Kensington lock, which is usually standard for most laptops. Uh, the power adapter um, port, two USB 2 ports, not USB 3. Standard, just normal one point, uh, HDMI 1.4 port, and then Thunderbolt. Um, you've got some ventilation here. And you've also got some ventilation on the rear. I haven't actually turned it on yet, so this is just a, um, uh, a little bit of a look before I actually build it and start to write my review. On the front here, you've got uh, the power button and an activity light. So obviously when the hard drive's cranking along, you're gonna have activity. Oh, an activity, or activity on the light itself. You've also got another USB port here on the back. So, I oh, throw on the front. So that's the front with the USB 2 port. And that's the rear with the rear ports as well. Um, the unit actually isn't too bad. Um, compared to most PCs, you know, PCs are gonna be four or five times the size. I will actually compare it to a Galaxy S2 from Samsung. Galaxy S2 from Samsung is actually only a tad bigger. You can see it up there. I'll actually just lift the camera up. It's actually just a tad bigger, as you can see there. The NUC is not too big. It's really, really tiny. It's very light. Uh, from the specs that's inside with a um, Core i3 processor and a 520 series SSD from Intel, a 16 gig of RAM, you've got to you've got to see that is that is some serious horsepower inside a machine this small. Um, it would really be before I review it. It'd be, it'd be perfect for uh, home theater PC. Um, people that want to mod the systems on a home theater PC and put different software on there. Um, for a kiosk or a retailer who wants a tiny, tiny PC with low power draw. Um, for a family, you know, it's, you've got a Visa mount in the box that you can just hook up to the back of the screen. That kind of stuff is amazing. It's, it's, it's crazy to see the technology is getting this small. We can see you know, 16 gig of RAM and a tiny little PC. There is, before I've, again, before I test it, there is one thing I would really have liked is USB 3. Um, I'm disappointed that Intel didn't put USB 3 on it. You know, this day and age, it really should have it. Even though it's got DisplayPort, I haven't been a big fan of DisplayPort so far. Um, the takeoff has been pretty slow. USB 3 is everywhere. Um, USB 2, of course, isn't too bad, but you're maxing out at you know, mid-30 megabytes per second. Um, but USB 3 would have been good to see, especially with the nice SSD in there. It would have been good to see it. USB 3 mixed up. But maybe next time, this is Intel's first NUC, so we might see it with another NUC, NUC 2 or whatever they want to call it. Um, but yeah, I'll get into the review. So this is just a quick unboxing and, and quick thoughts on the device. Um, and I'll, I'll finish it up after I've tested it with a, another video. Thanks for watching.